viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the August 2022 science paper 2 which is basically the standard O level chemistry. In the previous episodes we've covered section C and section e, B. So if you haven't watched those episodes please uh, go back and check. So let us look at uh, section C now where we are expected to answer two questions out of three and each question carries 10 marks. Question C1, the following scheme shows some reactions of a diuretic acid A. So diuretic acid A is reacted with copper 2 oxide to give us copper 2 sulfate plus water. If you notice this is the standard case where we react basically an acid with a base to get a salt and water. Then in the next case we react uh, acid A with magnesium to get a substance C plus oxygen and this is a standard general equation where we react an acid with a metal to give you a salt C and hydrogen. So C is basically a salt. Then uh, B we react B with uh, acid A which is a direct acid to give us sodium sulfate uh, plus water. Question A Name and give the formula of Loma numero 1, diuretic acid, Loma numero 2, substance B and D, uh, C. What is common in the first case, we shall call case A, which is an acid reacted with a base to give us uh, basically a salt and the water. Then uh, we have another case here, which will be A, a base or an alkali. Then we have this case which is a metal and an acid, we shall call it B. So you notice that what is common here is a sulfate. So there is a sulfate ion. So this is a basically an ion. An ion of sulfate means it's coming from an acid which contains a sulfuric. So this is should be A should be sulfuric acid. So the name is basically sulfuric acid of uh, acid D, whose formula is uh, basically this. Remember the question is asking us to give the name and the, the formula which is this one. That's basically the formula. Then we go to Loma numero 2 which is basically substances B and D, uh, C. So for us to identify B and C we need to write uh, these equations. So since A we have identified it to be sulfuric acid, we are reacting it with uh, basically substance B to give us uh, sodium sulfate. So if this is sodium sulfate, it's a standard case where we are reacting an acid plus a base which will give us basically a salt plus uh, water. Now this salt contains sodium. So if, since it contains sodium, this should be uh, basically the case of um, a sulfuric acid which is in the aqua state plus so this should be basically a sodium hydroxide because when you have sodium hydroxide with any acid to give you a, a, a salt and the water so this should be a uh, basically the case of um, a sodium hydroxide which is in the aqua state then we are going to get the results let me use a different color so this results will be uh, basically the case of um, a sodium sulfate which is aqueous then plus uh, water as a liquid. So this will be uh, the equation. So what you notice from uh, the equation is the fact that um, you notice that for us to have this, this is what we have already which is sodium sulfate and water which is this. Then for us to get that is basically we are going to have this. This is what is B and this one is sodium hydroxide whose formula is this one. This is the formula. Then uh, we look at C. So C is a case where we are reacting sulfuric acid which is aqueous. We react it with magnesium which is solid because it's a metal. Then we are going to have the results. Let me use a different color. Magnesium is going to replace hydrogen in the sulfuric acid because magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen. So we are going to have magnesium sulfate okay then plus which is aqueous then plus basically hydrogen 
uh, gas. These will be the results. So what you notice is C is a salt, which is uh, basically, in this case, uh, magnesium sulfate. That's the name. And the formula is this one. Then this is B. So basically, this is how you answer question A. We look at question B. Construct, Roman numeral 1, a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between substance B and D dilute acid A. So substance B is this one. So we've already done the equation. What's the equation? So the equation is this one. It's just a matter of now ensuring that it is balanced. So let us just balance. When it's balanced, then you can copy it. So in this case, balancing, we know that uh, we have two hydrogen this side plus one, which is three. Then this side we have uh, two. So for us to balance, to balance this equation, what we can do is once we introduce a two here, we're going to have 2 plus 2, which is 4. Then this side, we have a 2. So we just put a 2 here in front. Then we have 4, 4. Then the hydrogen is balanced. We go basically to uh, S, which is sulfur. So the S, we have 1. Then we have 1 this side. So the S is balanced. Then in terms of our oxygen, we have this side 4 plus 2, which is 6. Then this side, we have uh, 4 plus uh, basically 2, which is also 6. Then in terms of uh, sodium, we have a 2 this side, then plus a 2 this side. So the equation is balanced. So what you write here is basically this part, which is B Lomani numero 1. Then B Lomani numero 2, construct an ionic equation for the reaction in B Lomani numero 1. So what we need to do is now the this equation that we just written, the balance one then we write it in terms of ionic reaction. So let us just move to a, a new page so that I break down on how you arrive at an ionic equation from a, a balanced equation. So the balanced equation that we've already found is uh, basically two sodium hydroxide aqueous state then plus uh, basically sulfuric acid in aqueous state then this gives us basically these results which is a sodium let me use a different color so that you are able to see the difference clearly then plus water which is a liquid so this is a new state so what we do is uh, basically we write this one as a balanced so this is a balance so we put a two here so that it, it remains a balanced equation so before you start aliving or reducing this uh, chemical equation to an ionic equation it has to be first balanced that's the first step then the second step is basically we write all the compound in terms of their ions which is the cations and the anions so this one is basically two then sodium then this is a plus then plus so we are basically breaking this one into different uh, ions so remember this one is a logical ion so this is a basically two then negative okay then plus then similarly we do the same here uh, this is uh, basically it will be because of this two it will be two in front then plus because this tells us we have two hydrogen ion then plus then uh, sulfate radical which is uh, two negative then we go to the results then we have two uh, sodium plus then plus uh, sulfate ion then plus water remember but what water we're not going to break it because it's a liquid it's a new product so this remains the way it is only those that are in basically a quasi state that's the case so now we start canceling what is common what has not changed so what you notice in this case is we have two sodium this side and we have two sodium this side so this is the cancel. Then we have uh, the same sulfate here and the same sulfate has not changed. So here we have this hydroxyl ion, then uh, hydrogen ion, then giving us water. So once you do that, uh, you can simplify this. Write it in this way too. This is a negative charge. Then plus two hydrogen. This uh, gives us uh, basically basically two molecules of water.
so basically this is how you arrive at the ionic equation for the reaction between sodium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid which gives us sodium sulfate and the uh, basically water so in terms of ionic reaction this is what is basically what is happening we look at question st state the type of reaction that occurs in b lomani numero 1 so in this case what is happening is if you notice from here is uh basically the uh, hydrogen in sulfuric acid is being replaced by a sodium to form a sodium sulfate then the uh, sodium in the hydroxide is being replaced by hydrogen to form water so there is a change so the replacement is happening twice hence it's known as a, a basically the double displacement reaction that's the type of reaction which is happening in this case so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the 10 marks remember your success depends on your extensive revision revise as much as possible your results at grade 12 are very very important so join me in the next episode as i look at question c 